you know, you've been lumped into the Burke Four. What's, uh, what's that? The Burke Four is uh, what uh, Lori Lightfoot and Paul Vallis call the people with the closest ties to Ed Burke. Now, you got your start in the Finance Committee working with him during Council Wars. Did you ever feel uncomfortable with how extreme his positions were against Harold Washington at that point? You were a young kid well, then, but... Well, first of all, I was hired in the Finance Committee by Alderman Wilson Frost. Okay. And I stayed uh, through Alderman Burke, and after Alderman Burke, I stayed through Chairman Tim Evans. So my tenure in that committee predates and postdates Ed Burke. So uh, he didn't hire you is what you're saying? He did not hire me. Okay. So during council wars when he was so extreme, mm -hmm. even he regrets it now. Sure. Oh, I think. I did think. you ever say to him, are you kidding? What are you doing? Um, I think uh, upon uh, hindsight, of course, some of those positions were just wrong. We should have never held up Harold Washington's appointments. It made no sense. I don't know why. The, I don't know why that was being done, but there was an alternate budget. Alternate. Well, you'll you'll probably see, who knows. You may see that again, depending <laughs> on where the city council goes. <laughs> yeah, who knows? I hope not. Let, we 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 both hope not. Calling for him to resign after he didn't file his ethics statement on time. No, some of the extreme positions. Those were extreme positions. They were wrong, and let's hope we've learned and we can do better going forward. Right, but you were on his staff. Did you ever go to him and say, Ed, what are you doing? Or well, were you I've, too too afraid of the boss to no, do that? No, I'm not afraid of the boss. Okay, I worked for so one did, of you, better, ever, did I you ever go to him and say, Ed, what the hell are you doing? I'm not going to quote how we talked, but I was dismayed by some of the things that did we did. Did you say it to him? I was dismayed by some of the things did that we did. Did you tell him? I mean, you could be dismayed at home. Did you say no, it to him? No, I was him? dismayed at the office. You were dismayed to his face? I was dismayed. To him? Okay, and what did he say? I'm not going to get into that. Why didn't you quit then? Quit. Quit Quit the job? Um, I had a family. <laughs> I so can't, you, can't just quit. Did you feel like quitting ever? Uh, no. 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 I th people, look, it was a, a very unique time in our history. Uh, I think you have the benefit of hindsight with perspective to see that those decisions they made were wrong. And you learn from it, and you take it forward, and you try never to commit those wrongs again. But you maintain your al ally alliance with him throughout the years, right? Oh, I've, I've maintained my relation. I've learned in life, Fran, a long time ago, you maintain your relationships as many as you can because you need a network to perform your job. Let me ask you a question. When I was over at the CPS working on behalf of the Chicago Public Schools and I needed something done financially for the city, was I supposed to have an alienation with the person who could say yes or no to our finance needs? I'll give you an example. We brought over $100 million in TIF requests one time for Chicago Public Schools to build schools. And I'm not supposed to know who the finance chairman is? I think that would almost make me derelict in my duty. But Mendoza says that when Burke was calling Ginger Evans to lean on her, that he was doing it on behalf of your clients, the clients that you have. News to me. You, I never spoke to him about it. You that. never talked to Burke? You never asked him to call Ginger Evans? Never. Okay. So you have a lobbying business. How would you unravel it and detach it from what you do as mayor? Well, I'm proud of the fact that I'm a successful lawyer. Occasionally, very occasionally, as the law requires, when we represent clients, you register. Um, You're not, you would not call yourself a lobbyist? I'm an attorney. I'm okay. An attorney. But do you lobby? Yeah. As the law would define it, on occasion. Very small not, occasion. Not often. No, not often. Okay. Let me say this to you. Ask me, what would I do? If I'm privileged to be elected mayor by the people of this city, I will leave that firm, take my name off the door, and concentrate solely on the business of the people of Chicago.